Hi friends! Welcome back to another Sticker Sunday. For this week, we are going to be planning for the week of October 28th through November 3rd. This is Halloween week. It's on Thursday the 31st. We are going to be using this kit from Sweet RT Designs. This is the, the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown um, kit. I just got this in a haul a few weeks ago, so I can be sure to link that in a card up above if you would like to go and see what other stickers I got um, with this kit. But I got a few different sheets from it, and I'm so excited to get to use these for Halloween this week. So. I'm not a huge spooky, scary Halloween person, so when I saw this kit, I loved it. I knew I had to use it for this week um, because I just love Charlie Brown. He is one of our family's favorites, and so yeah, I just thought this kit would be super fun to use. I'm also going to be pulling in some of these other Halloween washies. So I have this one, which has like cobwebs and spider webs on it. And then this one has some cute little pumpkin jack-o'-lantern faces. These are both from Michael's Craft Store. So I'm going to be using those. And then I also pulled in these two skinny washies. I don't know if I will actually end up using these, but I thought I might. Um, so this one is from the last uh, Be Happy box with Teresa Collins. And then this one, oh, I'm sorry. No, this one was from the first Be Happy box, the rainbow box, back in June. And then this one, I honestly don't remember where it came from, but I've used it up quite a bit this month because it's like the perfect pumpkin orange. So those are the washies. And then I also pulled some extra holiday stickers from some other Happy Planner sticker books that I had. So I have this ha Happy Halloween box, some candy corn, and bats. And then um, just some extra fun little stickers. Those are from the Happy Memory Keeping book and also the Holidays book. I will link both of these books in the description down below if you are interested in checking them out for yourself. Um, but yeah, so I've pulled out everything that I think I want to use. So without further ado, let's get into planning. <music> So the first thing I'm going to do is lay down my pumpkin washi. This is always the first thing I do when I'm planning a spread. Um, I personally love using washi. I think it adds so much to a spread and um, it adds just a bunch of color. I'm going to use my little card here to rip the washi, just like that. And then we'll bring it on the other side. I love the way this washi looks on the bottom. It's such a cute washi and I'm super glad um, that I pulled it into this week because it really does make me happy to see all the cute little jack-o'-lanterns at the bottom. Okay, so now we're gonna start pulling in our full boxes. I like to do the full boxes first um, so that I can make sure it looks balanced and everything. My one hardest um, thing I think with this kit is this double box right here. I absolutely love this one because it is Linus and Sally in the pumpkin patch and so I wanna use it but I really don't know where I'm going to put it. So we'll try to place this one first and then put the rest of them around it. So I'm going to take this box right here. This is from the um, 
Happy Planner, Happy Memory Keeping book. This book is made for big size planners. Um, so as you can tell, like compared to a normal size box, this is a massive, massive box. So what I'm actually gonna do is cut this orange box down a little bit so that I can use it behind some of the smaller boxes. I want to be sure to put my Halloween, my Happy Halloween down first. Um, I'm actually just going to cut off the words of this box because I don't feel like I need the rest of it really. We'll leave one bat. Okay, so I have one more sticker, and I don't know if I want to use this one, or if I want to kind of leave it off. So I think I'm going to leave this one off for just a minute, and I might come back and put it in later, but we're going to leave it off for now. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and fill in the rest of the spread. I'm going to now use the other sheets that came with the kit to kind of fill in a little bit um, of the rest of the spread. I cannot lay down this label straight. There we go.
let's see here. I'm actually going to switch some things around really quick because this is looking too boxy with these two right next to each other. I think the hardest thing I'm finding with using this kit is trying to balance the colors so that there's not like a ton of one color um, in any given place, but they're all kind of pulling in all the colors. Um, that's been, I think, a struggle. <laughs> that's why I keep moving, moving stickers and putting them back down because I'm trying to get all the colors to balance evenly. So now we can add some headers and some decorative stickers to kind of add some playful fun to it. So you can use these glitter headers or you can use um, washi and I think I'm actually going to do both. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to take our little orange box again, and I'm going to cut it one more time to make little washi strips out of our box. Because I don't want to waste the, um, the rest of this box. So let's make some 
washi strips out of it. Alright guys, so this is the finished spread. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this one is definitely a little bit busier than my normal spread, but I think it's fun. I think it's playful for Halloween. Um, so if you guys liked this, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss any future planner videos or Disney related videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!